guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is penny and i'm a wellness bodybuilder beginner so i just want to touch base with you guys about something um before i get into the video because i was discussing it with hubby and i was talking about it with claire um, and my sister in fact when i started this journey and this process um, of weight loss and training and growing muscle i wasn't necessarily looking at it as a bodybuilding type of thing but as i got into it i really enjoyed it and what i found was that there wasn't anywhere i could go online or you know tv program there wasn't anywhere i could go to watch someone start from the very very beginning there wasn't anywhere i could go to see like a you know before all we're seeing out there is the after the you know instagram and what we're supposed to look like if you want to be a you know wellness bodybuilder or bikini bodybuilder all those women i a hundred percent know that they started from somewhere i get that but where i come from a place of constant doubt about my weight fluctuating weight overweight size 12 size 18 size 16 size 14 there is no journey in wellness bodybuilding from somebody from the beginning from the struggling from the falling over the machines from the leg wobbles at the beginning um all of these women that i follow are absolutely amazing each and every one of them in their own right I would have loved to see where they started though. I would have loved to see how they did it. Um, so for me, to you guys, and for me, this, this journey is more than I want to get fit and I want to look great and then hopefully, and I'm putting it out there like my sister always tells me to, when I step on stage, that will be, you know, my high, my high point. Um, that would be the kind of epic moment for me. My feeling on this is that I just would have loved to see from the beginning, you know, how hard it is. All these women that I follow and these men that I follow and I absolutely adore and I idolise them. I would have loved to see where they started and how difficult it was for them the first few months, the eating, the sleeping, um, the fasted cardio in the morning, the dragging yourself out of bed like I would have loved to hear about it for me it's like um I feel alone in this in some way I feel like I know I'm not the only person that's done this from the beginning but it would have been great to know that other people have documented it so that you know you can see what people want to see out there on YouTube or you know you can see what parts to film what part not to film but for me I'm just doing it all I'm putting it all out there I am showing you guys everything, every single piece of the puzzle that's going to be put together to take me where I would like to go. So I'm so glad I'm doing this. I had my doubts at first. I was like, who's going to want to watch this? Even if I don't put it out there, even if I just filmed it for myself, I feel great that I'm actually putting it out there now because I've had some great feedback already. And it's nice to know that there's people out there that are interested or inspired or just genuinely want to watch someone be torturing themselves. <laughs> so I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of people came back to me after the last video and some people had sat there and watched it and said like, why would you want to show people that you're struggling? All these other people are uh, posting their YouTube videos of their training and you know, they're already there. They've got, you know, all the definition already. There's not one ounce of fat on them and they look amazing and they work hard to get there. But why would you want to show people, you know, that you can't do lunges or that you're, you can only do 10 reps of the last set and you're red in the face and you look like a tomato. Why would you want people to see you like that? Why don't you just show them the final product? But I don't want to do that because I, I am documenting this for me. And I just so happened to said, right, why don't I start a YouTube channel to show other people what I'm doing? It might inspire them and give them some, you know, hope that, you know, bloody hell, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And that's how I feel about it. So I just want to put out there a disclaimer that I'm showing you this from the beginning. This is from point A to point stage. So 
this week um, I took a detour on Wednesday and I wanted a bit of a change of scenery so I went to Muscle Limit Gym in Brimsdown. Um, I've heard loads about the gym. Actually the best man at our wedding who's quite close to our family, he, he goes there six days a week and he suggested that I try it out. So big shout out to Muscle Limit Gym, big shout out to Clayton who owns Muscle Limit Gym, it was great. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and give us a thumbs up.
staying, um, but we will be adding a bit of length into it because, you know, wellness is quad, glutes, hamstring, and shoulder base. So it's lower half with shoulders. So we need to add at least two leg days in a week, at least. And um, so on the shoulder days, we'll be doing a little bit of legs. See, it kills a bee.